specific heat capacity. Now consider a situation where you are trying to heat a metal block of 1 kg through 10 degree Celsius and it requires an amount of heat energy you not that one. Next I take the same solid 10 kg and I heat it through 10 degree Celsius. Here I will be applying more amount of heat energy to do the same rise of temperature. So it clearly says that heat energy Q absorbed by the substance is directly proportional to its mass. Then I continue my experiment that 10 kg mass is taken and uh, heated through 10 degrees Celsius. Again, I continue to heat and uh, temperature is increasing by 20, 30, 40, like that as it is going on. For that each degree rise, there will be more amount of heat is to be supplied for doing that. That means, for making an increase of temperature, we have to apply more amount of heat. That means, heat energy absorbed by the substance will be directly proportional to the increase in temperature of the water. Increase in temperature, that T is the temperature of the water. And therefore, Q will be equal to C into mass into increase in temperature. This particular quantity C, we call it as proportionality constant, but that C is for specific heat capacity of the solid, of the solid, of the solid. Because for the particular solid, there will be a value for that. And this specific heat C can be defined using this particular formula heat energy by mass into rising temperature. This particular equation you can use it for defining specific heat. Now, suppose we say M equal to 1 kilogram and Delta T equal to 1 Kelvin. Suppose I fix the situation like this. Therefore that, you will be having C equal to Q. C equal to Q when this situation is fixed. So C is not equal to Q mathematically. So I can define specific heat capacity of the solid is numerically equal to the quantity of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of the solid through 1 Kelvin. Okay? So, the unit of specific heat will be unit of energy divided by unit of mass into unit of temperature. That means joule per kilogram per Kelvin is the unit of specific heat capacity of the substance. Now the same you can represent in, in CGS system that is calorie per gram per degree Celsius. So here CGS unit, the heat energy is taken as calorie. And we have seen that is calorie in the previous discussion. And you know how to lay calorie and joules using joules mechanical equivalent of heat. Okay? So SI unit and CGS unit. 
Now this is about what you call the specific heat capacity of the solid. Now there comes another quantity called heat capacity. Specific heat capacity, then comes heat capacity. Heat capacity of the solid. This is nothing but the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature to 1 Kelvin for a given solid. Amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a given solid to 1 degree Kelvin. Alright? Then, you can get that is equal to heat energy required divided by raise of temperature. So if I take this Q by delta T, that will be equal to C into M. So quantity of heat energy required to raise the temperature to 1 Kelvin is equal to C into M from this one. So this is what we call heat capacity and heat capacity and specific heat capacity are connected like this. Therefore, this is equal to heat capacity and therefore specific heat capacity is nothing but equal to heat capacity divided by mass of the substance. Heat capacity by mass. Okay? Or this is equal to Q divided by M into delta T. So heat capacity by mass. So this is the relation connecting specific heat capacity and heat capacity. Now remember specific when we use the word that specific means that quantity divided by mass. Okay, any quantity divided by mass gives the specific of that particular quantity. So here, heat capacity by mass gives specific heat capacity. Got it? Now, relating to this specific heat and the solid properties, then you can define a low or Dulong and Petit Dulong and Petit slow. There is a particular law relating the specific heat. And this slope says that, it's an empirical formula that says that the product of Atomic weight of the solid and its specific heat remain a constant. That is, atomic weight into specific heat of the solid of the solid will remain a constant. And this product constant will be 6 calorie per gram per degree Celsius it is. That constant is coming equal to 6 calorie per gram per degree Celsius. So it is given in terms of specific heat in CGS unit. Okay, this is also another important law relating to the specific heat of solids. Alright, so specific heat capacity, heat capacity and Joulon and Petit law. Alright, and this law is applicable for an atomic weight greater than 30. If it goes less than 30, there will be a discrepancy for this particular law.
that is also to be known.